So now let us do a basic rig to the car tires so that if I move a slider, I can rotate the tires around and I can work around with the turning of the front wheels. So in order to do that, first of all, I'm going to expand the null right here. And over here, you can see that I got four of Tauruses. So you can see that there's four tires right here as Taurus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, make all of them a child of a null object. So I'm going to assign a null object as a parent to each one of them. So to work around, work around with the Tauruses just um, individually, I'm just going to move them all on to the side for now so that we can control it just like that. So just over here, I'm just going to control all of these just like that. So I'm going to assign a uh, null object for each one of these right there. So just like that, I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to assign a null object. So uh, to do that, I'm going to go over here uh, on to the uh, object selection and I'm going to create a null. So you can see that null object is here. I'm just going to drag it down over here on top of the Taurus right here. So let's see which Taurus is this, this one, right? There you go, as you can see. So I'm going to go on to the null object right over here and then rearrange the position over from the null object to make sure that it aligns well with the tire. So I'm just going to drag this up uh, from the side, just like that. And there you go, the null object is here. There you go. Just like this, you got the null object from the top and it's right around in the center. So I'm going to assign this Taurus to be the parent of this null object. I want to create four null objects over here. So I'm going to duplicate this by holding control just like that. And there you go, there's another null object right over there and keep it aside just like this. So over here, there's another null object over there. So these are two, two null objects as you can see right there. So you have the null object one over here and the other one and see must be there somewhere so there's another null object right here so i'm just going to assign this on to the next torus and this is torus one so i'm just going to drag it down over here so this is another null object that i want to work with just like that so i want to duplicate both of these null objects keep it on to the right just like this and from the top, let me move it on to the side right here because I want that as a parent as well. So this is null two, as you can see. So this is the third torus uh, and this is the torus that I'm working with. So I'm using the null two and I'm making it a parent of the torus uh, two right here. So this is torus two and it's parent. So I'm just going to assign it uh, in a while. So I'm going to go over here on to the torus one and uh, this is already in the null. So this is not the right null for it. So I'm just going to uh, drag it down. And this null, I'm going to drag it up just like this. And just like that, I have all of the hierarchy uh, maintained. So I'm going to make this a child of the null 1. I'm going to make this child of null 2, uh, child of null 3, and child of null 4. And uh, since we want to make it easier for us to work, I'm just going to work around with all of these. So you can see that this is null 1 and Taurus null 2. Uh, it's Taurus null 3 and it's Taurus null 4 and it's Taurus right there. So that's for to make it easy for us to work with. I'm going to go over here, double click it and rename this. So this is uh, front tire and I'm going to say L for left. I do not need, I, I can rename it however I, I want. This is front tire, right? So front tire, uh, front tire, right? There you go. So front tire. Right, this is the back tire, right? So this is back tire, right? And this is uh, back tire, left, just like this. And there you go, you can see that I got four tires this over here. So now once I do everything, what I can do is I can make it a rig. And to do that, I need a master null object. So I'm going to create just that. So I'm going to create a master null object which controls all four of these. I can simply assign uh, it to this one as well, uh, as you can see right there. So I'm just going to assign it to this null object so it's easier for me to work around. So I'm going to assign a user data to this. So I'm going to go on to user data and over here, I'm going to say uh, add user data. So over here, you get this out. And first of all, I want to control the turn of the tires. That, that's what I'm going to term, control in the first two tires right here on the uh, tire left and right right there. So I'm going to go over here 
on to the 10 right here and that's the short name itself that's 10 data type is going to be float that's okay interface is going to be a uh, float slider so float slider just like that and limit is going to be the data data type is going to be degree right here so I, I can control these steps the degree of the rotation amount so I'm just going to limit that out on to let's say like minus 20 degrees to plus 20 degrees or minus 30 degrees uh, and plus 30 degrees so that's how much I want the car tires to turn just like that so once I'm happy with the user data I'm going to uh, press OK and it actually comes up over here as you can see so now I need to link these up link the tires that is the uh, front left tire and the front left tire on to the user data in order to do that I'm going to right click on the now right here and then I'm going to add a programming tag right there and I'm going to use Expresso just like that. So Expresso has been added. You can see that Expresso bar actually comes up. And once you do that, I'm bring, bragging in the main null object, which I want to control everything with. So I need to bring its user data. So I'm going to go over here on to the user data. And here's 10. There you go. That's the user data 10 right there. So I'm going to bring in all of the tires right here which I want to turn. So I'm going to uh, use bring left and right right here. So both left and right. This is the back tire as you can see. I don't need the back tire, but I need the front left and right tire just like that. So there you go. That's the front left and right tire which I want to turn. So let's see which uh, way I want to turn these tires into. So I'm going to go select the tire right here. I'm going to select the rotation, move it around and the X rotation is what I want to target just like that. So X rotation it is. So on the turn, I'm just going to drag it over here onto this blue uh, area. So and then go on to uh, the coordinates on the rotation. I'm going to rotate its X axis. So I'm just going to go over to X turn on um, turn and the front tire left drag it on and then on the coordinates I'm going to go on to uh, the global uh, rotation right over here and rotation edge is what I want to link it to so now this has been linked and once I close it I can go back on to the now object right here and on user data if I were to move this you can see that now this actually moves around so that's the turn as you can see right here so if you want to animate this you can do that simply just like that so that's the turn and the other thing that I want to work with is rotation so what I've done is I've squeezed these tires a bit so that rotation can be seen uh, right there so I'm going to go over on to the user data again. I'm going to add in user data. And now in my case, I'm going to add in a rotation of the tire. So rotation is there you go. So I got data type and uh, interface right here. And in the unit, I'm going to choose degrees again. So I can choose the minimum and maximum. So by default, let's say I want minimum of about uh, minus 1000 uh, degrees and plus 1000 degrees right here. And another thing I can do is I can have a slider for the minimum and maximum value. So if the user wants to animate, so the limit of amount for the car, car tire rotation is not there. So I'm just going to give the user uh, that is the animator uh, the value right here. So just like that, I have the default value at zero and everything else is there. So I got another data as rotation as you can see right here. So I still need to select the type of the user data. So I'm going to manage the user data right here. And in the rotation, I'm just going to go over here on to the side, just like that. And uh, slide a min and slide a max right there. Limit minimum and limit. There you go. So I have these everything out. And I'm going to go over here onto the type right there onto the float, the interface. And I'm going to go to float slider just like that. So this actually pops up. So minimum is minus 1000 and plus 1000 right there. So I can increase and decrease the value according to what I want. So once I, that is okay, I'm just going to press okay right here. And there you go, that's the minimum and maximum value as you can see right there. So I can go over here and then you can actually go um, just like that onto the limit. So once you're done with that, I need to link this up onto the tires now. So I'm going to go on to the expression and over here, I need to bring in all the tires. So I need to bring in the inner tires now, just like that. 
and the rotation let's see which area i want to rotate the stars upon so i need to rotate it in this axis so this is p axis right here so i'm just going to bring in all of the toruses i do not want the null object here i want the toruses i can rename them if i want to make it easier for me to remember as well bring in all over here and all of the toruses are over here so i need to work around with its rotation p axis so just drag uh, another icon right here so i'm just going to bring in another user data that is rotation drag it down right over here and drag the rotation onto the torus just like that so drag over here and in the um, settings right here on the basic uh, on the coordinates i'm going to work around with this v-axis so i'm going to go over on to the uh, global rotation right here so global rotation p so i'm going to do the same with this one so i'm going to go over here on to the uh, coordinates right here global rotation uh, p and do the same for this one on the properties and the coordinates i'm going to go on the global rotation p and same goes for this one as well global rotation p just like that so all of them has been looked together and if i were to rotate everything now as you can see so now if i were to rotate go on to the now object and if i use rotation you can see that the rotation actually happens just like that so slowly the rotation happens right just like that as you can see so they are rotating quite fast as you can see right there so once i'm done with everything i'm just going to bring all of the tires back on to the car so bring all of the tires right here okay and from the top view i can use top view as a reference and then bring them all back in underneath so now what i have is i have a car right here and i got the uh tires kind of rigged right here or uh, with rigging basics and over here, I can turn the tires, tires right now by just using uh, these turning wheels, as you can see. And what else I can do is I can use the rotation as well to rotate them around. So this makes animation much more easier, as you see. So in the next lesson, we're going to learn about how to actually animate this car long apart. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.